Hello! I'm going to make the gesso, homemade gesso, with a recipe that I found on YouTube. So first of all, because I've got all these ingredients anyway, this is the recipe I've chosen. So we're adding one part of plaster of Paris. I'm using this old shot glass. We then add three parts um, white emulsion. Never ever made this before and I've actually never ever heard of it before. And then we're going to need one part of PVA glue, which I just happen to have lying around as well. So apparently we just mix this up. Maybe I should have mixed the paint and the PVA together first, but never mind. We'll just keep mixing it until it's a nice consistency. And then once it's mixed, you add hot water to get the consistency that you want. Obviously for different artistic jobs, you have a, distant, a different consistency. If this works, then I can use it on more of the framework in the salon. I'm just going to keep mixing to get rid of the lumps and I don't want any air bubbles either. I'm just going to add some hot water to make it a bit runnier. Apparently you can keep this for up to a year. It doesn't go off as long as it's in an air tight container. So I've got a screw top lid somewhere I can put it in. But let's see if it works first. That's looking a lot creamier now. Put in a little bit more water. Right, so after I've mixed this, I'm just waiting for the, on the mirror frame that I'm doing, the, that it's got some big screw heads where it's screwed up to the wall. So I've just put some sealant over there that, so they don't rust through. So I'm just waiting for that to dry and then we can apply this in thin layers. I'm not sure how many layers I should be putting on, but we'll play it by ear and see how we go along. So the gesso is ready. The screw heads have been sealed so they won't rust. And now I'm just going to use a small brush to go around the edges. The cherry pick has arrived. I'm not sure it's actually going to go through the gates here. I personally think it'll have to come through the field, but we'll have a see. I'll stand up here and laugh at them. Obviously, they're going to have to put the arm up in the air first. Well, at last, it's arrived. Billy's up there at the helm. I'm not sure if I should record this just in case something goes on. <laughs> I'm sure in his hands he's so used to it, he could probably do it blindfolded. When you see it on the, uh, the back of the ATV, you realise the size of it. Oh, there we go. That's, that's a good signal. <laughs> it's coming down the ramps. It is actually a monster of a machine. And as you can see, our gates, these are our main gates at present, which is why we are cont contemplating a different driveway up through the field. Maybe we should think about um, planting some bamboo to make a screen for it so that we have to, don't have to see it. It's not a great feature of the chateau, but apparently for Adrian it's a necessity. So now it's off the lorry, they just need to manoeuvre it through the gates. I'm glad it's not Adrian in control. We'd have no pillars left. Right, 
moment of truth whether my tape measure was right. what's happening. I think they might be stuck. They straighten up a bit. Ooh, no, they're going for it. Let's hope it doesn't bend the gates. So this gives you an idea what Billy's having to deal with getting through and quite and bad he's doing it. I don't reckon we got more than a couple of inches spare either side when he's trying to go go no, uh, negotiate the gate. But, as you can see on that gap on the right side, Holy Moses has done it. Holy Moses, I'm absolutely Well done, Billy and everyone. Well, I'm up here as I've got the uh, cherry picker now, checking the roof. Uh, just done a repair on the piece down there, it's a simple just not a new tile in, so I'm happy with that. Um, looking around, a few tiles have slipped uh, since last year and it was checked over. Uh, but again, now I've got the cherry picker, I can get in there and do some uh, repairs, which is good. Uh, thanks, Billy. Right, so on the east side, roof is absolutely well I don't want to say perfect but flip me it is even the gutters completely clean which I wasn't expecting to see um, very pleased this part of the roof is the old roof uh, which I will at some time have to get round to uh, well just keeping on top of it really there's no point in having a new roof but I just keep replacing the tiles as they come loose um, but actually at the moment, I actually feel like that would be good for another season, but time will tell. It's a bit wibbly wobbly up here with both of us, but I wanted to show you what I was dealing with now. I wanted to get these detail out from in here, so I've got something special planned for that. So it's just flaking out now that the strip has worked. But these bits I wanted to concentrate on, these bits here. See how it falls out nicely. And we'll just give it a clean up with a brush and some water afterwards. But up here also, you see these balls are missing. Quite a few of them have fallen off. So I'm gonna remake those. I'm gonna use cork and kind of ice pipe them on. Making a cake. Yeah, exactly that. So I'm going to pipe about four, three, I think three dollops there. Right. And use a wet brush to smooth them out so that they're balls again. I've done a practice run and it works really well. Who's a clever girl then? Me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tell you what, now I'm up here because I haven't seen all this stuff so close. Too bad you'll work out, haven't you? So you've got to go around and do Oh, you have to, don't you? Every single one of them, all the way around the whole room. What, well, these? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll see you in bed tonight. Love you. <laughs> well, poor old faithful Henry, who I've had for nine years. I don't know if you saw in any video, I dropped it down the uh, cellar. Um, I'm just going to start taking it apart and give it, a, it needs a good clean out. Um, I'll see if I can get to the bottom of why it's not working now. I'm hoping it's a switch problem. Um, contacts look pretty good. Cleaned it all up inside. Motor's running all right. Um, well, as in it's turning, it's not seized, nothing damaged on that. Uh, I've checked the continuity over there and that's fine. So I'm just now going to uh, clean up the inside electrics and 
need it. You've got to the covenant so I can check that as well. Hopefully we can give him a, a new, new bit of life. I think that's what Carol needs now as well. Well, that's uh, now looking like a six million dollar man. He's been uh, all sorted, all cleaned up. Moment the truth. Bang! No, only joking. Right. Uh... Yay! Henry is back. Oh, does the other bit work? And the turbo works. Whee! Now to sort Carol out. Henry's up and working, so that's good news. And uh, actually, let's go and see how Carol's getting on. I know she's fed up with this stripping. Hello, darling. Hi. How you getting on? Yay. Oh, you're not stripping? Well, I'm preparing for stripping. It's my new colour tan. You've lost your tan. Hey. <laughs> you're back on that out the outfit from Ghostbusters again, aren't you? Now you're taking your glasses off, you might want to look in the mirror. Oops. If I crack. Oops. You know when snowboarders, or skiers should I say as well, that go skiing with their goggles, and at the end of the season they take off their goggles. No, They've got a goggle tan, yeah, you've got that. <laughs> so, I'm just going around finishing touches. Okay. As I'm going along, I'm cleaning it up and yep. doing the rest of the filler. So it filler, the stripper. You've been on this too long, your brain is just mush. I know. So, so yeah. what, what, do explain to me, because I haven't got a clue what you're doing, why are you putting tape up there? It's not tape, what it's is it? instead of the paper. Oh, this is the stuff we bought, the baking paper. Yeah, it'll ah. work on these straight bits, I'm not sure how well it's going to work on this. Oh, okay, well, we'll reveal the answer to that later. I will tell. It sounds like my dentist. This is, I'm guessing, your time out. Yeah. You've still got the Casper look. Um, is this your time out from uh, stripping? But you're stripping again. Well, no, this is a nice job. Oh, is it? Because then I can ask you to get it upstairs and put it in the bedroom out of the way. A nicer job might be go and have a shower. There's no point. I've got to go back to it. I'm just oh. having a break from my shoulders like this. <laughs> Hands in the air. Hands up. I knew you were going to sing. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is your little buy that you had a couple of months ago, wasn't it, from the Bacon? Yeah. And you're just going to tart it up. You're going to pimp yeah. it. How do I get the rust marks off then? I can clean it up, but how do I get the rust off? Uh, let's have a look. So I'm going to come in. Like these, this is all, I've cleaned all this, but look. Cleaning. Oh. I can't see. I wouldn't know. I'm not a rust expert. Unless any viewers would love to tell us a quick tip. But anyhow, I'll leave you to that noisy. Oh my word. Okay. The joys have been a Chatelet. Now come to the camera because I just want to show everyone, literally, smile. Look at the state of you, eh? I mean, <laughs> you look like you've actually worked today. Oh, come on, just get on with it. You want me? So she's asked me to shower her down. There's which, no way I'm which, going in the new shower. Which I have great pleasure in. Holding this. This is a bit of a X-rated scene actually. I'm sure uh, Kirk there's and no Jamie will enjoy this. No more oh, actually, this gives me amazing pleasure. You ready? I oh, know, I'm going to put, right. I'm not stopping, but this is right. <laughs> no, right. Hey, give it to me. There you go. <laughs>